Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm at Brighton in Utah. It's a Thursday night. Brighton has the most night skiing terrain in all of Utah. And lo and behold, the week I get here, they get 36 inches of fresh powder. Check this out. This is my first run. It's around 4.30 p.m. The idea is check out the night skiing scene here. You see the lights. I hear they just expanded this past season. It's the 2022 season. The end of 2022 going into 2023. So let's see what they got. Brighton is located in Big Cottonwood Canyon, right past Solitude Resort. Without traffic, it's a 40 minute drive outside Salt Lake City. The drive up the canyon can get a little treacherous and crowded on a great ski day, but there are also inexpensive city buses that bring you right to the lodge so you don't have to worry about it. That's what we took. Apparently, Brighton used to be a lightly trafficked local mountain, but it's now on the Icon Pass and it's a little busier these days. It's a great place for tree skiing and has tons of consistent snow all season. Brighton has 66 named runs with 21% beginner, 40% intermediate, and 39% advanced terrain. I was here for the night skiing though. Night skiing is harder to come by out west compared to east coast skiing, where we're used to most mountains having lights. Even though it's less than a third of the resort, Brighton has over 200 lighted acres of night skiing, making it the most night skiing in Utah. It's good skiing too. I started my evening by taking the Majestic to the Snake Creek Express lift all the way to the top. All right, I'm at the top of the Snake Lift. I think it's Snake River, that's what it's called. I'll double check it. Anyway, this is the highest peak you can get to with night skiing. It is so cold right now, but uh, let's check out this mountain. That is a heck of a view. Be better in the daytime. It was so cold, but I love to run all the way to the bottom. Also, this is my first time filming on my new Insta360 camera, and I love this thing. I took Pioneer to Snake Creek Access to scout. If you want to see the entire run, watch my last video. Braved the cold and took another top to bottom run, this time sticking to the greens. We took Pioneer to Deer Park to Snake Creek Access to Hawkeye Access all the way to the lodge. If you watch some of my other ski videos, you might know that my go-to ski lodge food is chicken fingers and fries. I am shocked to report that Brighton has the most expensive chicken fingers and fries of any resort I've ever been to. A full $20. That's more expensive than Vail, Park City, Breckenridge. So I'm starting the leaderboard now and Brighton is on top. After our little break, we took one more run off the majestic lift and called it a night. It's a sticker place. All right, that's gonna do it for Brighton. Obviously I didn't get to see a whole lot of it because night skiing is only one particular area, but nice place. Maybe I'll come back in the daylight someday. Uh, but until next time, I'm every other Carl. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see ya.